Let me get the glass out. And then to prevent dripping. Um, oh, you can't see it. Go back down and see real quick. To prevent dripping, so when you take this out, you just put this, this cap on. That way, it doesn't drip. So, okay, now let me. Juice, free of any type of pulp. Yeah, it is. Not bad. Let's say there's there's A lot less pulp here than, than there was before, for sure. I mean, I still taste a little bit um, of, of some pulp material. So even on the far um, lever where it says that it's going to remove all the pulp, I still taste a little bit, but nothing compared to like to to my other juicer. So. Mm. It was a good meal. Okay, now, next thing we're going to try is actually cleaning this because there's a way to clean it where you just wash the inside. So, I'm going to relook at the structure manual real quick and then we'll try and clean this and see how that works. Okay, so now to do uh, the self-cleaning feature, I have to close both this, uh, this spout, and um, the pulp control lever too to get completely closed, and then I have to pour in a certain amount of water to this point, so I just have to pour the water in. going outside. That's the, the lawn people doing like weed eating and stuff. Find time during the day to come and do that. But, oh. Okay, so now all that I have to do is to clean out. We'll just turn it on. So there you go. That's self cleaning. And we just leave it on for like 30 seconds or so. But overall, I mean, with a good quality juicer, the juice was tasted pretty great, and I think it did a good, good job for um, the cleaner that it is, or the juicer that it is, so awesome. <coughs> Goodbye, old juicer. We're gonna miss you.
is dry at the watermelon field. Mm-hmm. <laughs>